Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. I thought I'd make this video around the question, what can you do with your life? What are you meant to do? What are you meant to be? And I think we're all wrestling this question because it's a deeply existential question. What am I? What am I meant to do? You know, what is my purpose? What is my passion? We always wrestle and we constantly run into blocks. You come into music and you realize that you won't make it and you give up and you quit and you drop out and you go like what should I study now what should I do next and you, there's always this question because we always have this question right around the corner you know this question is always at the back of most people's heads what should I do with my life how should I live what kind of person should I be and am I living up to my purpose and uh, here I feel we should all take a step back we all need to take a step back and realize that it's not all as bad as we think, you know. It's not that, that you have to change everything in your life. It's not that you're so far off the right answer. Probably you're doing a lot of things right. Take a step back and realize that you're probably doing a lot of things right. You're probably right where you need to be right now. You're in the right place, the right time, at the right moment. Right now, just where you are right now is just the place you need to be right now. And here's where we all have, what we all have to deal with. We have to accept the hand that has been given to us. What cards do I have in my hand? Accept the cards that you have in your hand and learn how to play with them. Accept the situation, accept where you are, because you can't really think yourself into another place, into another set of cards. And in all of this, what you have to do is you have to realize that a lot of the things you have in your hand are probably very good things. You're probably at least happy with most of your family members. You probably wouldn't change your family for anybody. You probably have some good friends in your life that mean or matter something to you. And if you don't have it, you probably have somebody out there that is thinking of you, somebody that wants to be your friend, somebody that is trying to befriend you, someone out there that cares about you. Everyone has somebody that is thinking about them probably right now, right in this very moment. And as you're thinking about like what you're meant to do, you probably already have a lot of skills. You probably already have a lot of things you're good at. You probably already have a lot of talents. And it's so much easier to build from your talents and to build from what you currently like to do, your current hobbies and your current situation, than to create a completely new situation, a completely new fictional identity out of nowhere that has nothing to do with your present situation. It's impossible to jump to a platform that is so far away that you can't reach it with your own hands and with your own body, with where you are and your own development and your own situation. And here I find, and I was reading a book recently, Spellslingers, uh, I find that we're all asking the wrong questions. You know, a lot of us are confused and when we're confused, we walk in circles. You know, we keep on repeating the same questions over and over and we keep on thinking, we keep on becoming stressed because we're not finding the answer to the question. And we keep on repeating the question, hoping it will give us the answer. And we walk in circles and we walk in circles. That's uh, a lot of, uh, I spend way too much time walking in circles and I'm sure you do too. And uh, what I realized when I was reading this book was I'm asking the wrong question. I keep on asking the wrong question. You know, the character in this book, he was asking himself one question. He was an aspiring magician. He wanted to prove himself to his family. He wanted to show the world that he was a capable mage. The problem was he didn't know magic. Everyone else knew magic. He didn't know magic. He was a magicless person. And he wanted to gain magic. He wanted to learn, to, he wanted to succeed in the mage trials without magic. And he kept on trying, how, how will I succeed in the mage trials if I don't know magic? How will I become a magician if I don't know magic? And he kept on going and fussing over this question and stressing over it without realizing that he was asking an impossible question. And I think we're all stuck in a lot of these impossible questions. If you're going in circles, Think back for a second, take a step back and consider the question that you're answering. Are you asking yourself the right question or is there best, better question you could be asking yourself? Instead of what field should I study next or what should I study or what should I work as? Uh, consider what am I studying right now? Where am I right now? What am I currently happy with? What am I not happy with? What would I like to be different? You know, start with where you are now. Look at 
uh, what uh, could I study? Like what different fields exist out there? What different uh, what uh, what do the people who study these fields become? What do they do? Do they like it? What do they think about it? What do I think about what they think about it? You know, ask yourself the questions that get your mind moving forward rather than in circles. Ask yourself questions that get yourself digging. Don't spend time going in circles. Notice when you're going in circles. Notice when you're repeating yourself. Notice when you're standing still. And if you're standing still like I so often do, find a new place to get information. Often, if I feel stuck, if I have a writing block, and I have writing blocks fairly often, that's when I pick up a book. That's when I pick up a book or I watch a show or I kind of get information from somewhere. That's when I open up a discussion with a friend where I start talking, you know. Instead of fussing over being stuck and being blocked and not being able to write, I try to find a way forward. I try to find a book or inspiration somewhere else and uh, reframe and take, get some perspective and that's usually what gives me the energy to create, to make articles and to make videos. And here it's the importance of the community in all of this. You know, I look at Discord all the time. I read Facebook all the time. People send me messages all the time. And, you know, most of my videos are based, are actual responses to one of you guys, uh, to something you said or to something you wrote. And that means uh, this is a dialogue, it's a discussion. And uh, here, my question for you in this discussion is, where are you currently stuck? What are you currently confused about? What circle are you going in? Take a step back, reframe and think, where am I right now? And how can I move forward in life? Because I think that's the most important thing, you know, to feel like you're moving forward, to feel like you're taking a step in the right direction, to feel like you're actually building or adding or modifying or adjusting something that will make you happier. And what's the goal? Well, I think the goal is self-actualization. I think just realizing yourself and uh, who you are and realizing more things about yourself and who you are and learning more things again, once again, about who you are and just adding and gaining more perspective, gaining more inspiration, gaining more passion by finding ways to adjust what you already do to do it in a way that is more fun for you, more true to your passion, more true to your needs. And in this, I will talk about myself for a second because I am doing my passion already. I'm making videos, I'm already writing, I'm already out there coaching people, I'm already out there talking to people, I'm already out there making a difference. It might not be uh, in the way I thought I would initially, it might not be at the level I thought I would, but I'm doing it, I'm doing what I love and I'm happy about where I am. And that's the thing, I fuss over not being where I should be, but I'm right where I am and I'm kind of happy with where I am. I'm kind of proud of what I've done and I, just want to keep adding to that and uh, here what I realize is I have a lot more learning to do you know I I feel like I need to learn more I feel like I have something more I need to change and uh, something that will make me really improve as a writer and something that will really make me improve as a blogger and youtuber and I haven't found that yet but I know at least that I'm moving forward and that I'm learning more and that I'm finding more and more things and that's, I guess, something that really eases my frustration and makes me feel more relaxed and more happy and more at peace. So thank you all for watching these videos and being a part of the discussion. And uh, do let me know if you're stuck or where you're stuck. And do join Discord and the community to be a part of the discussion. Perhaps we can free ourselves from the blocks together. <laughs>